Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my MAC palette. I customized it. I picked the shades out myself. I know it comes with an insert to fit, um, I believe it's 15 colors, but I took out the insert and it's still magnetic in the bottom, so I actually could fit 24. So I actually went online and I wrote down all the colors that I was interested in and then I went to the actual store and I swatched them. So I can compare them and write down the ones that I really want. I'm going to be swatching them and talking to you about them and what I use them for. This is the palette that I use every day. That's why I picked um, neutral colors. I picked my, my all over lid color right here. My highlight, my crease colors, some muted grays, my crease colors, some plum colors here. Other cool tones, more purple tones. I'll take a pop of purple and then my dark plum and my black. I'm just gonna go in the order that I have them in. This first one is Blanc Type. It's a very matte color and I use this for the all over lid before I put any crease colors on. The second one I'm going to talk about is Nylon. I use this to highlight under my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. This is a frost color. I love this for the inner corner. I think it's beautiful and I think it's a very universal color. So the next one is bamboo. I use this as my transition color. Bamboo is also a matte color. I like to use bamboo whenever I use warm colors. So the next color is soft brown. This is probably a very popular shade from them. And this is also a matte color. Very beautiful, I love this. So the next one I'm going to be talking about is Wedge. I use this one in my crease color whenever I want to use cool tone eyeshadows. So Wedge is also a matte color. The cool tone medium brown. Then I have charcoal brown which is just a little darker. Charcoal brown is a matte color. I love to use this in my crease and to define my under eye. The next one I have in the second row, this is Saddle. This is more warm. And I like to use this also in my crease or to define my under eye. Saddle is a matte shade. Beautiful color and it swatches beautifully. Very smooth. The color next to that one is Corduroy. Also a very matte shade. The one next to that is Swiss Chocolate. Another very, very popular one. And also a matte shade. Love it. I use that in my crease. Mainly in my crease, yeah. <sighs> there is a bug. It doesn't leave me alone. Okay, the next one is Brown Script. Love this one. It's a beautiful warm brown shade. This is also a very matte shade. Very, very warm. I use this mainly in my crease. Okay, the next one is brown down. I use this one in my crease or to define my under eye. This is also a matte shade. On the MAC website, it's described as Velux. And then I have ground brown. This is a matte shade. This one's not swatching as easily as the other ones. 
but it is a very matte shade. Very rich brown. Okay, the next one I use as like an all over lid color. It's very, very uh, beautiful. It's like a coppery, peachy, very pretty. This one is Mythology. And this is a luster shade. Very beautiful. You spray that with some Fix Plus. It will come out more metallic. The next one is, uh, I don't know how to say this name. Hose. <laughs> I don't know. It's spelled H-A-U-X. And this is a satin shade. This is one of the plum colors. I am obsessed with plum colors right now. I think it's beautiful. It's like a plumish gray color. And I use that in the crease. Okay, the next one is Blackberry. This is a matte shade. It's also a plum color. Very, very beautiful. It's a little darker than a uh, hose. <laughs> I would use that in my crease or to, find, to define my under eye. This one is Mystery. Slightly a little darker than Blackberry. This is a satin color. It's still plum, just a little more grayish tone. But I would use this in my crease or to define my under eye. So my next one is Espresso. And this one is a matte shade. It's more brown. And I would use that in my crease or to define my under eye. Next color that I have is Brun. I don't know if I'm saying it right. It's B-R-U-N. And this is a satin shade. I love this one for my crease. It is very dark, grayish brown. So the next one is handwritten. This one I also like to use my crease or to define my under eye. And this is a matte shade. It swatches beautifully and it blends out very well. It's a very buttery shade. A plum grayish color. Okay, the next one is Embark. This is also a matte shade. Just a little darker than handwritten. I love that one to define my crease or my outer corner of my eye or to define my under eye. The next one is Deep Damson. I loved this color when I saw it online. I just thought it was such an attractive color. And then I saw it in person and it was kind of intimidating, but I swatched it and I think it's beautiful. This would be beautiful for a smoky eye because it's kind of like a, a plumish reddish shade, but it's beautiful. And this is also a matte shade. This is probably one of my favorite colors. Well, they're all my favorite colors, but top five for sure. Sorry, my baby sister is crying. Story of my life. The next color that I have is Indian Ink. I wanted this as like a pop of color for under my eyes. I haven't used it yet. I'm a little intimidated so by this it. is Indian ink. It's a very beautiful indigo shade. And it just like caught my eye. It just caught my eye. I love it. And that was a matte shade. So the next one I have is Shadowy Lady. This one is also a matte shade. It's also one of those plumish colors, but it's very dark. Very dark, almost black, but it's plum. It has like an undertone of plum. And I would use this as my crease color or to define my eyes. Also in a smoky eye, bet that would look beautiful. So the last color, of course, is the black one. It's carbon, and this is also a matte shade. I use this on the outer corner of my eye to define my under eye. I wouldn't use it in my crease. It's a little scary for me, so I just use it in those two places. It's 
swatch life. So this is what the palette looks like. It's a much sturdier case than, than what they have had before. And that's just how I have them lined up. I kind of just want to like lightest to the darkest, you know, and then like in between have like the plum shades, the cool tone shades, you know, medium colors, warm shades. And I just love this palette. I use it every day. I am obsessed. I've always wanted one too since I was like 15. <laughs> And I finally have them. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I tried my best to swatch them. And I hope the lighting was okay. Just let me know if the lighting's okay. Um, don't mind my background. I was doing laundry. And I haven't put them away. So stay tuned for my next videos. Bye guys.